Hi, my name is Gwen Agna, and I'm running for re-election for the at-large school committee position. I assumed my position in the school committee on January 1st, 2022, as one of the two at-large positions. At our first meeting, I was elected vice chair and was appointed to the budget and property subcommittee, as well as the liaison to the Northampton Education Foundation. A subcommittee on the curriculum was created, and I volunteered for that also. In addition, as vice chair, I am the, currently the spokesperson for the school committee. The first six months of my tenure raised a number of challenging issues for the Northampton Public Schools, including the controversy at the high school over embedded honors in math, disclosure of problematic emails by the NHS principal, continued debate over COVID health and safety protocols, contract negotiations with Northampton Association of School Employees, a looming budget deficit for NPS, and resignations of many of the major administrators in the entire Northampton school system. Given my experience as an educator, I have been acutely attuned to the proper role of the school committee. The Education Reform Act of 1993 limited the authority of the Massachusetts School Committee to the following categories, budget, policies, and hiring, and evaluating the, the superintendent, sorry. Mm -hmm. Of course, within those broad categories are aspects of the curriculum, advocacy, public relations, educational goals for the committee and for the schools. My observation in the past as a district ad administrator, I was the Jackson Street School principal for many years, and now as a school committee member, is that the public at large and sometimes members themselves struggle to understand or accept these limits. It's often referred to as staying in our lane, a, to coin a phrase, an important reminder of our roles. Within those parameters, I've continually sought to balance the public and professional interests and concerns for providing a quality education for all our children. Although I sat on the other side for a long time as principal, first as the early childhood desegregation and equity coordinator, and then as the principal, there was still a lot to learn. Aside from the Massachusetts general laws, school committee policies, and Robert's rules, the learning curve I needed to navigate was balancing the various often competing desires and demands from the stakeholders of Northampton Public Schools. When in doubt about what falls within the school committee's purview and what doesn't, I refer to the Massachusetts Association of School Committees, MASC, and their helpful and responsive executive board. I look forward to another term in which I can continue to advocate at the state and national level for increased school funding as well as the passage of the Thrive Act, which will eliminate the requirement for all Massachusetts school high school students to pass the MCAS to receive a high school diploma. We are among only six states in the country to have such a state requirement for graduation. As an educator, I have advocated for eliminating high stakes testing in our schools and moving toward multiple assessments to capture and reflect all students' learning. I will continue to put children first in all my thinking and actions and advocacy. As an elected official in our community, I represent their interests first and foremost. To do that, I must ensure that our policies, our budget, and our superintendent do the same. And while keeping students at the forefront, we attend to the needs of caregivers and families and all the educators, faculty and staff who care for, support and educate the children. We must be responsive to their concerns and help find answers to their questions or point them in the right direction to find those answers. Based on that understanding as a role in the school committee to make my vision and goals real, I will continue to advocate for additional funding for the Northampton Public Schools, both at the local, state, and federal levels. I will promote educationally sound assessments for students at both the district and state level. I will support contracts for the employees, making Northampton Public Schools a safe, healthy, and equitable environment in which to thrive. I will guide the superintendent in navigating the district. She was hired because of her experience and qualification and needs the school committee's support and oversight to achieve our goals. And I will listen to the community of educators, families, and children. As a principal's principal, I sought to be the best listener I could and to hear children's voices especially. With good listening and careful consideration of all these issues, we will have schools that meet the needs of all. Thank you very much.